All right, today we're getting rain. Started earlier this this morning. We're talking rain tomorrow, maybe even Monday, but we'll see what happens. It's well, it's melted a lot of the snow. We still got some piles there, but and the big piles are around. But otherwise, it's pretty much gone. I don't know how much rain we've had so far, but I'd say probably half an inch or better. But it's not over with, so I guess we'll have to wait. Hey uh, you folks, have a good day. We'll catch you later. Hello everybody, it's paint day. <laughs> We are going to paint the turtle. And we are going to make it a little different. But Joe and I agreed on it. Okay, I think I'll start in the center with a bright blue. And I don't think I'll thin that one down or put lighten that one at all. And that needs a good shaking up. So I want to start in the center. I don't want to make it like a perfect circle because that's not how it is. But I'm going to start here in the center. And then we'll work outward with other colors. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're working on the background and I'm using these blues because I want the beautiful blues of the pictures I've seen <laughs> of the Caribbean. And a lot of the, around those islands and stuff, the, show, the pictures they show, it is so beautifully blue and you can see everything on the bottom. So this is why we've picked this. So this is a Caribbean turtle. He is a master of the sea in that Caribbean. He is nowhere near that plastic strip where all the junk is. So he is a happy turtle. <laughs> We're putting in a little bit of seaweed. I mean, he's got a diet. He's <laughs> he is very positive. He's a very positive and if if. If turtles could hum under the sea, he probably would. <laughs> That's it. That is our background. I have a few little spots to fix here. But I'm going to do that later. What do you think of that for an ocean floor? Huh? <laughs> Once we get Mr. Turtle on there, I think he's going to be pretty happy. He's got kelp. He's got somewhere to go sit. <laughs> Maybe he's close enough to the surface. He can sit on that rock and stick his head up. <laughs> it's fun. We must be having fun. Okay, this tortoise. <clears throat> its base color is going to be gray. But he's going to get decorated pretty well. Let's see. Okay. Now, yes, I make mistakes. But I do try to fix them. And I don't think I've made one yet. Nope. There's his head. We're making him a lot bigger than we did it before because he needs to take up more room on this. It's he's the he's the primary he's the primary character. I mean, the main character. Oh, pardon me. The main I you know I used to do plays in high school, and I know. 
And I'm a writer, so I know its main character. And I don't mean the state of Maine. <laughs> All right, my comic chops aren't great. And yes, that flipper is too high. I'll fix it, I promise. <laughs> but Turtle isn't, isn't worried about it. For one thing, he's not completed. So, we will be fixing that soon. So right now, we're just making it very fat. <laughs> but you can definitely see him against that background. I think gray is a good color for him. There's there's turtles of all kinds of colors, and there's many different sea turtles. But for this picture, I thought, let's start with a gray. Because he's going to have some other colors that are going to be in his shell. So let's just give him some something to make those colors on. So I think gray is going to be good for him. And so, yeah, I'm showing you. I know I did a boo-boo. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to dry enough to where I can fix it. Because <laughs> I'll have to paint over it. Okay, here we go. Where's that blue? There's all kinds of them. <laughs> Which do I want to use? Well, let's go with this and see if we want to do a little bit of mixture with the others. All right, we are going to fix this little problem here with this turtle. It's not his fault, so I don't know. He's probably not happy with me right now. He does have a pretty positive attitude, so, you know, even with a positive attitude, you can get a little bit upset, so. <laughs> if he were real, he probably wouldn't be happy with me. I am trying to blend these colors, and it takes time because it's, I'm painting over things that, <laughs> so. Add a little bit of too much white, but we'll bring it back. But this turtle, he, like I said, he lives in the Caribbean, and he loves it. It's warm water, and he just, I mean, who wouldn't want to? But, you know, he lives in that sea. He does have to come up for air, so he might just stick his head up and get it. <laughs> Get a nice breath. I mean, he's got a rock formation over there. So he might just come up on that and get himself a breath there. So, because they are amphibians. But they do spend a lot of time in the ocean or underwater. They lay their eggs on land. They make big, well, sometimes we'd call them sandcastles, but they're not. <laughs> No, they make a big sand nest, and then they bury them. And they just pretty much leave them because it's up to the turtles, once they hatch, to go find their way to the ocean. And they've got a little compass or something that just does it for them. It's an instinct. I am giving him a black on, their, on the head to kind of give it a distinction from the smaller, from the nose, I want it to look like it's a little more three-dimensional, if that makes any sense. I mean, it, it's hard to make things three-dimensional, but um, we can try. So when, we, when I put the colors on here, we were looking up some, some different images and there was, there's so many different colors, but there was one that I just fell in love with. 
it's got kind of an orange starburst shape on each of each one of those segments of their shell and I thought that is so perfect because they can go hide within a coral reef and who would know that that was not part of the reef so because so I mean you know it, the it grow those different things that they grow on, all kinds of stuff. So that's why I'm putting these little orange dots in here. They're going to be kind of like, I didn't mean to make him look quite so rectangular, but <laughs> those are supposed to be his feet sticking out there at the bottom. And for some reason, it really made him into a rectangle. But we're going to leave him that way. He's a happy guy. That, that, that is me trying to make a little bit of three dimension on the um, parts of the shell. And I don't know how well it works, but it's there. <laughs> okay, back to our story. Now, like I, I think I said this before, but Cheryl asked for the turtle, so I want Cheryl to name this turtle. <laughs> So, if she, if she doesn't want to do that, that's fine. Somebody else can name him. But I'm kind of, you know, other than those feet making him look square, I think he's a pretty good looking turtle. And I think he does too. He knows he's a happy. Uh, <laughs> he knows he's a handsome fella, don't you, guy? <laughs> he is... Now, there are sharks, yes. There are sharks in the southern waters and all kinds of other predators. But this turtle is special. He knows how to speak all of the other fish languages, <laughs> even whale and dolphin. <laughs> he just does. He's a very smart turtle. And I'm trying to blend in a little bit of white on there. <laughs> Didn't quite go the way I wanted it to just kind of tone that down where I had to fix that. But yeah, he he could talk and he, since he could talk to the sharks and he told them, you know, he says, why do you go out and you eat people? Eat us. You eat fish. You eat us. Why? And they said, well, that's our nature. That's what we do. He said, well, please don't do it to me. And they said, well, since you can talk to our language, we won't. <laughs> so they're being very nice to him. And they're kind of protective of him now because it's not often you find a tortoise that can speak shark. Okay, yeah, I'm getting into the fairy tale a little bit. Why not? It's fun. It's fun. He is going to come up for air here pretty soon. I'm putting some little step stones on them on there. It's going to raise it up a little so that he can walk up on there very carefully because they don't have feet like land turtles. They've got flippers. And so they have, I don't know if you call them flippers, but they've got, they've got swimming, I, I'll call it flippers. <laughs> so he's, he's getting over there, and of course that's a lot bigger off the page, it's just, that's that corner of it. So he's going to climb up there, and he's going to get him some air, and then he's going to go back down and eat some more kelp. So... <laughs> But he's, he's just the sweetest guy, and he needs a sweet name, so I sure do hope you give him a really good name, a good, strong, intelligent name, because he's a good, strong, intelligent turtle. Okay.
Move you back a little more. There he is. That's our turtle. Sea turtle. <laughs> so, I need somebody to name this guy. You, I'm not decided. Cheryl, since you asked for a sea turtle, I'm going to let you name this one. So, somebody else can please ask for something. And I will do whatever I do, folky. But <laughs> I cannot claim any better than folk art. I wouldn't want to because that's what I like. So anyway, we are done for this one. And he is, as the story goes, he's friendly. He has this thing to walk up on. It goes on out there. It's bigger. He's in the Caribbean. He's a Caribbean tortoise. We're done for the day. At least I am. So, next, uh, well, tomorrow we'll start a sculpture. Because I kind of had fun doing the bear after the, yeah, doing the cranberry bear. To go with that painting. So, tomorrow I will sculpt whatever you name this to tortoise. So... And then we'll have somebody name the sculpture. <laughs> Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Smile and wave. Go share it. And we'll see you later. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire.